So today we're going to look at triangle angle sum, which is 9.4 in the textbook. Alright, so when we're looking at triangle angle sum, which is the sum of all angles in a triangle, um, that sum of all angles in a triangle is actually 180 degrees. So no matter what type of triangle it is, the total sum of all the angles is 180 degrees. Therefore, A, angle A plus angle B and angle C equals 180 degrees. So you can have a look at all the different triangles here. So we've got an equilateral triangle. That means all the sides are equal. An isosceles triangle. That means two sides are equal. A scalene triangle. All the sides are different um, sizes. And a right angle triangle, whereas where we have a right angle as one of the angles here. Alright, you can see the lines here. Now if they, they've all got one line, that means they're all the same size. So here you can see this one. Two sides are the same, so they've got the lines on two of the sides. And here, one line, two lines, and then three lines means they're all a different sizes. Now you can use your knowledge of triangle angle sum, which is that all angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. You can use that to work out the missing value of any angle in any triangle. So therefore here, you've got this triangle here, which is 130 degrees, 20 degrees. We need to find out what A equals. So we can just take those two angles that we know and take them away from 180 degrees and that leaves us with 30 degrees so then we know that this angle here equals 30 degrees so please make sure you write down your working out here so that you can refer to it later all right so now when we're finding the value of the missing angle in this triangle it's an isosceles triangle so it has two sides that are the same so therefore two angles will be the same so these two angles will be the same so what we need to do is use our knowledge of triangle angle sum which means that all angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees so we need to take away 70 from 180 degrees then we're left with the total of these two angles so we know that they're equal so we just divide them by two so 180 minus 70 degrees is 110 and we divide that by 2 and we get 55 degrees so therefore each of these angles is 55 degrees now there's something else we also need to understand about triangles is that we can actually look at an exterior angle of a triangle so the angle on the outside of the triangle and if you extend one side of a triangle, that's when you uh, find the exterior angle here. So that's what we mean by extending. And this is the exterior angle of the triangle here. So angle ACD is the exterior angle. The angle ACB is supplementary to angle ACD. So together they add to 180 so if you know the value of one of these, then you can work out the value of the other one because they are supplementary, they add to 180 degrees. So you're going to use that knowledge of exterior angles to work out the exterior angle on the next sum. So here, you need to find the value of x using your knowledge of exterior angles. Now, this is a bit trickier. You actually have to find the value of a first. So to work out the value of A, we know that all the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. So therefore, we can take the two angles that we know, take them away from 180 degrees. Now you can see that this one here is 90 degrees, because it has the right angle symbol there. And then we've got 62. So 180 minus 90 plus 62 
is 180 minus 152, which equals 28. So A equals 28 degrees. And now if we know that one is 28 degrees, and we know that the, these two angles are supplementary, which means they add to 180 degrees, we can take the 28 away from 180, and we're left with 152. And that is the value of x. Okay, so hopefully you have learnt a bit about angle sum and exterior angles of triangles. We're going to use that to do some work in class.